Is it possible in this day and age to become a millionaire? Or perhaps the better question is, why would you want to become a millionaire? I mean, in media today, millionaires, and billionaires for that matter, are often not depicted in the best light to say the least. Characters like Scrooge McDuck or the always supremely evil C. Montgomery Burns come to mind here. And of course, right now in real life, we have the ever-present Donald Trump as one of our main poster boys of the super wealthy. And let's just say people's opinions on him are split. So I suppose that with that kind of media influence hovering over us our entire lives, it's not all that surprising that most of us have a fairly negative view of the super wealthy, and many really do not want to become a part of it themselves. Especially since the majority of us don't personally know anyone who's super rich, so we don't have anything to really balance the scales. And that's all we can really draw upon is what we see in the media. And you know, that's really unfortunate, because there's a lot of great wealthy people out there, but most of them are not in the public eye, and even those that are in the public eye, like Bill Gates for example, don't get as much media attention as someone like Donald Trump does, even before he became president. And as a result, there are a lot of misconceptions about millionaires, and the wealthy in general. Hey everyone, Daniel here from Next Level Life, and it recently occurred to me that I've been neglecting a huge part of what it takes to have a next level life. Because whatever your dream life is, you need to have the financial resources in place first to be able to live it. So with that in mind, I'm going to be starting this new series on my channel covering various topics in the field of personal finance. And as you can see by the title for my first video of the series, I wanted to talk about a simple plan that, if stuck to, will practically guarantee your status as a future millionaire as well as take a moment to really define what a millionaire is and is not. Because believe it or not, even for the average American, it is possible to become a millionaire. No, no, you know what? Possible is too soft of a claim, because it's more than possible. In fact, as I said, if you follow a few simple steps, it's almost guaranteed. Don't believe me? I don't blame you. But hopefully, over the course of this video, as well as the rest of my personal finance videos that'll be coming out very shortly, I'll be able to convince you. So without further ado, let's get started. What is a millionaire? A millionaire is simply someone who has a million dollar positive net worth, meaning that after subtracting debts and any other liabilities and expenses that a millionaire has, they have at least one million dollars of value left over in their portfolio, whether it's in their house or in the stock market or just in cash, they have a million dollars of net worth. And that's really all there is to it. It has nothing to do with how much money you make. It has nothing to do with what type of person you are or how well known you may be. It simply means that your assets are valued at least $1 million more than your liabilities. That's it. So how can the average American get to that $1 million positive net worth in their lifetime? I mean, $1 million. That is six zeros, people. I'd imagine that most of us have never even written a check with more than three zeros. Unless, of course, you bought a new car or house with cash, and if that's the case, kudos for you. And if you have, you may not even need this video because you're probably already well on your way to that million dollar net worth. Now, as I said, if you follow a few simple steps, it's not only possible to reach that million dollar marker, it's almost guaranteed. And I should probably back that statement up, huh? So let's find out how it's possible. I did a few calculations and found out that over the course of 40 years, the S&P 500 has returned an average of 8.6% per year, not including dividends. Now, technically speaking, past results are not necessarily any indicator of future returns. But until we see the future returns, this is the best we've got to go off of, so it's what we're going to use for our examples. So assuming that over the next 40 years, the market does roughly the same as it did since September of 1978, you could invest $261.03 a month over the next 40 years and become a millionaire. Again, assuming no dividends. Now, $261 may seem like a lot, but when you break it down, that's not even $10 a day. And there's lots of ways to save money. You can cut cable if you have it, or go down to a lower internet speed, or not eat out quite as often, or use coupons when you're shopping for groceries, or you can do none of these things and instead find a way to make a little bit of extra income on the side. Maybe you start mowing lawns or shoveling driveways on the side, or maybe you start selling old clothes that you don't need anymore online. Or, if you're young, maybe you start teaching people how to use social media better. You'd honestly be amazed at how many people would pay you to do just that. And there's a ton of options out there. All you have to do is pick one or maybe even a few that work out best for your own skill set and start your own journey on the path to becoming financially independent. 
Now there's a couple of things that I want to clear up before ending the video for those of you who are a little bit more analytical in nature. That 8.6% that I used is the geometric average rate of return that the S&P 500 has had since 1978, according to Yahoo Finance. All I did was go through each year and look at where the market was in September, because as of this recording, it is September has just ended, so that's the most recent month that I could use. And then I put all those numbers into an Excel spreadsheet and calculated the return. And I think the reason why we hear so many different rates of return thrown around by financial gurus is because of the inflation effect. I've heard some people say that you can expect to earn anywhere from 6 to 10% a year in the market. And depending on what time frame and what type of average you use, any of those numbers could be true. For example, if you go from 1978 and use an arithmetic average, the rate of return that you would come out with would be about 9.7% per year. Inflation is generally assumed to be about 3 to 4%, so if you adjust for inflation, your realized rate of return would be somewhere between 6 and 7%. And if you don't adjust for inflation, of course, you're nearly at that 10% rate of return. So there you go, guys. There's a simple formula to retiring with the amount of money that most of us would consider to be rich. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, or if you learned something, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got a lot more of these finance videos coming out in the near future, like I said, as well as some more book summaries. I'm not stopping that. And one of the book summaries I've actually got coming out here soon is on David Bach's book entitled The Automatic Millionaire, which might be good to check out if you haven't already and if you're struggling to save money. But with that being said, thanks for watching, and have a great day.